The art department is probably one of the most vibrant and creative places on campus. We have amazing students and professional faculty who are committed to their own practices as well as teaching. Uh, within the art department, we have a very strong interdisciplinary program where you can work in many media or you can work in one or just a couple directed areas. Uh, we have five plans within the art department. Uh, the first plan, plan one, is visual studies and that is designed for art educators as well as students who are interested in going into working in art in public places, um, doing more of a social practice or getting into criticism, um, working in museum studies. Uh, plan two is studio art and studio art allows students to take classes in painting and drawing, sculpture, printmaking, photography, video art, wooden furniture design, ceramics, glass, new genres, installation, the digital arts, I can go on. We are known for having some of the best facilities for the studio arts in the entire Cal State system as well as the state of California. Our students can also major in art history, uh, they can major in graphic design or graphic design and marketing. Our graphic design students are able to move right into the workplace and get jobs in areas like print media as well as motion graphics and product design, lots of different areas. The art department is accredited by NASAD, which is the National Association of Schools of Art and Design. That means the art department meets the highest standards as an art school. That's the same accreditation as a school like the Rhode Island School of Design or the Maryland Institute College of Art. The Rathma Art Museum really is a standout for us. There's only two Cal State schools within the 23 that have museums, and we're one. And Rathma is an exceptional exhibition space that brings in contemporary exhibitions as well as their collections and our students get an opportunity to exhibit in there as well. It provides our students with an opportunity to see exhibitions that they would typically have to go to Los Angeles to see. It's right here in the Visual Arts Center as well, right here on our campus for the entire campus to enjoy. Our students grow. Uh, and it's very exciting to watch them. The things that I think makes the Communication Studies Department uh, particularly strong is that we focus on both the academic side and the professional skills side. Both of those values are very important in this department. We want our students to be prepared academically. We want them to be critically thinking citizens of the world. We want them to understand the cultural role and the social role and the political role that media play in our society. At the same time, we want them to be skilled professionals. And each of our undergraduate concentrations I think um, really tries to achieve this balance between academic preparation and professional training. So for instance, in media studies, students focus, uh, study gender and race and uh, the influence of media on society, but they also develop professional skills, whether that's journalism, whether that's working in radio, television, filmmaking. Our media study students come out with identifiable, employable skills, along with the academic training. Same in public relations. Public relations deals with the businesses and nonprofit agencies, and we want our students to understand the important role of communication and persuasion in society, and we want our public relations students to come out with employable, marketable skills, and they do. And we have uh, PR majors in, in agencies, in corporations, and in nonprofit organizations. 
the human and organizational communication concentration. We focus on uh, knowledge and literacy in human communication skills, interpersonal skills, leadership skills, group skills, conflict resolution skills. And all of those skills are marketable and employable skills. So we feel very good about the kind of comprehensive program that we have in communication studies and that we balance both academics and professional training. English major provides students with a really rich, highly enjoyable educational experience while at the same time preparing them for a wide range of career options after they graduate. Students in our English major become excellent writers, readers, communicators, and thinkers through courses that challenge them to think about how language conveys meaning in literature, their own writing, and in everyday communications. In the core of our major, students take an exciting array of literature courses where they get to read everything from medieval myths to Shakespearean sonnets to contemporary novels and films from a wide range of cultural traditions. And then in addition to that literary core, students get a chance to specialize in a specific track that allows them to specialize in literature, creative writing, or linguistics. For students who are interested in becoming middle school or high school English teachers, we also have a wonderful English teacher preparation program that includes coursework in writing in the public sphere, literacy studies, young adult literature, and English teaching methods. Our English major provides students with an excellent foundation for going on to a variety of careers, including careers in medicine, in law, in public health, social media design, video game writing, and many others. Employers are looking for graduates who are excellent communicators and creative thinkers, and our English majors rise to the top of that list. The Liberal Studies program uh, in the College of Arts and Letters is a program that benefits students who want to become elementary school teachers, K through 6th to 8th grade, and or interdisciplinary studies for students who want a breadth of education um, to go on to graduate school or get careers in business, law, government, journalism, and, and things like that. We have two teaching tracks. We have the general track. The general track uh, is a BA degree program and students who want to become um, teachers in a multiple subject elementary classroom K through six would choose this track. The integrated track is our second teaching track and that track leads students to a BA degree and when they're just about finished with their BA requirements, may have a couple of upper division classes left to take. We transitioned these students into the credential program here at Cal State. Going back to the general track, we have 31 concentrations that students may choose or declare. The integrated track is just what it is, no concentration, um, but the plus side of the integrated track is that students uh, get their BA degree in a shorter amount of time with their credential. They save units because they don't declare a concentration, and if you save units, you save money. Our last track or degree program in the liberal studies is the arts and letters track. <clears throat> that is a non-teaching track, and that track leads students to um, careers uh, outside of teaching, and also leads students to graduate school. They get to choose a minor across the campus. They can have a minor of their choosing. Some of our students choose a minor that leads them into grad school, so they're set and ready to go. It's a breadth of education. They take classes all over the place. It's sort of like a liberal arts degree program, and it, it is becoming more and more popular across our nation.
The Cal State San Bernardino Music Department is quite unique. We're a medium-sized department. We don't have hundreds of music majors. We have no graduate students. So that means that students that come into the program as freshmen or sophomores get opportunities much earlier to perform, um, to get contact with the professors. Our professors are very hands-on. Our students, uh, at the same time, are very successful. Um, our jazz program is one of the top-notch programs in the CSU. They tour internationally. They've done uh, jazz festivals in Asia. They regularly go to the Reno Jazz Festival, which is a big international jazz festival up in Nevada. Our opera program is terrific. We do a full production every year. Students from that program have gotten placements with the LA Opera after, after graduating with us, with the San Diego Opera. Um, we have great concert bands and choirs. Our choirs have toured Europe a couple times recently. Um, our concert bands collaborate with uh, international artists that come to campus as performers or composers and directors and work with our group. Um, and the, the students who graduated from those areas get employment. Our students have gone on to terrific grad schools, top-notch grad schools like the Manhattan School of Music, Arizona State University. We also welcome non-majors to our programs. If you're interested in not majoring music but it's some kind of a breadth of experience with music, we have a music minor. We also have minors in jazz, minors in commercial music, a minor in music technology for students that are interested in supplementing their experiences in a communication degree or a business degree. We also have a Bachelor of Music in Performance. That's a new degree. It's a professional degree. And our Bachelor of Arts degree in music is open to all students who are interested in majoring music. And many of our music majors will combine a minor with the major, but also lots of the students in the minors are from outside the major. And we welcome students from all over campus to our performing ensembles. About 25% of our students are uh, in our performing ensembles, our bands, our choirs, our chamber groups, our opera program, our non-majors. Our guitar program is terrific. Our piano program is terrific. Our piano students go on to grad school just like our wind, percussion, string, and vocal majors do. This teacher of guitar at Humboldt State University is one of our grads. We have an opera singer who is one of the principal singers in the Toronto Opera and sings principal roles all over the world. So we have really successful students. Our alums are doing terrific things and they're getting work. Well, we're often asked what we do in philosophy, and the answer to that question would be we address questions that philosophers have traditionally asked. For example, what is knowledge? What is law? What is justice? What is truth? What is the meaning of truth? Does God exist? Do humans possess free will? And on what grounds should we accept or reject a scientific theory? These are all questions that we address and philosophy. And what philosophy students are trained to do is they're trained to examine complex texts where they need to find the essence of an argument and distill it down to its core and its central features. And then once they've done that and they've established what the reasons are for believing a certain conclusion that an author or arguer wants you to believe, then what we train students to do is to examine whether those reasons are sufficient for accepting the conclusion that the author defends. And this is a skill that's transferable to many fields. So sometimes what we're asked is, what can you do with a philosophy degree? And I think the proper question to ask is, what can't you do with a philosophy degree? And in fact, if you come by our department, you'll see that we have a resume of a fictitious student named Socrates where it's a kind of resume that a student in our program could conceivably put together over the course of his or her academic career at the university. So for example, uh, we have in the resume a description of Socrates, who's a stellar student. He has a 4.0 GPA, and then he's able to combine his good grades with work experience, extracurricular experience, and internship experience all of which is available through the philosophy department. So students can get paid work experience as a tutor in the logic lab at the philosophy department. They can also be a philosophy ambassador where they're meeting with students and talking to them about the benefits of being a philosophy major. And they could also have a judicial internship through the San Bernardino County Courts. Combining these three, you get 
experience dealing with clients, public relations experience, and connections in the legal field as well. Some students opt to combine their degree with other kinds of field work or internship, extracurricular, and paid work experience that they get elsewhere. That too is fine. We've had graduates go on to Harvard Law School. We've had, we've had graduates go into pharmaceutical sales. We've had graduates go into insurance. We've had graduates go into nursing. Uh, because the philosophy major is flexible, we can combine the degree with other degrees too. Uh, it requires 61 units. That makes it easy to get a double major in and also students can opt to get a minor. There's a minor in law and philosophy. There's a minor in philosophy, policy, and economics. There's a minor in philosophical logic and a minor in philosophy as well. Theater is uh, an, an outstanding major for young people today because our primary interest is in teaching people to be creative, to think creatively, which is a highly valued commodity in the modern workplace, um, and to give people an opportunity to collaborate, which is a skill that everybody at every level is going to need. At some point in your life, you're going to have to work with someone else. Theater is the one place where you actually get practical experience doing that in real time with real people. Theater teaches organization. Our students are all are required to be involved in a production either on stage and backstage in some capacity. That could be working in a scene shop, that could be actually performing, that could be building costumes, that could be stage managing or ushering, but in some way experiencing both what we call the front of house, uh, the technical side, and the performance side. There are several disciplines inside of theater. You could be a acting, directing uh, emphasis. You can do a design technical emphasis. Theater education, these are the individuals that are gonna go into teaching or recreation leadership or any kind of work with young people. Um, dance and musical theater are the five areas of emphasis. And we encourage students, to all the students do some kind of exploration of theater overall as part of the general um, undergraduate curriculum and then their specifications happen after that. So everybody explores directing, technical theater, acting, and then begins to specialize after that. We welcome minors, we've had great experience with minors, and frequently it's a way for people to keep uh, an artistic life alive uh, while they're completing their, their other degree emphasis. It's a great profession. Well, I, it, it seems to be like a very natural thing to do, a very obvious thing um, to um, speak another language. It's to learn how to think with sort of a different kind of brain. You can see also things for, with a new pair of eyes. There's just um, some, and I don't know if I say it because I've always been exposed to languages since I was very young, or simply because it's one of those things that is sort of, sort of natural to, to any um, culture, society, you know, progressive society, the modern world. Um, for this section of the country, I think we, we're really extraordinary, the kinds of things that we are teaching. We have the regular Spanish, which is a, a very sort of healthy program. We have French, German, and then we have Arabic. You know that our summer program is, is unique to the whole CSU system. No one else has what we have in Arabic. And it's one of the first uh, programs of its kind in the country, if not the, one, the number one. Not because of the things that we do, but because we do them cheaply than, and better than, I think, than other more expensive places. We're teaching also Korean and Japanese and Chinese. And then the three Native American languages. We have Luiseño and Serrano in Cahuilla, and that's, I think, is really important, you know, that in an era when we live 
almost surrounded by Native Americans, think of all the tribes in this part of the country, that we offer. It's, it's, it's absolutely necessary that we offer those programs. We have the CSU system, the one-year program, in, in many different countries, but for Spanish, for instance, we have it in, in Spain, two different regions. We have um, our own programs, too. In, in Mexico, in Spain, very solid programs for the summer. We have the one in Jordan for Arabic. We have one in Korea, just started last year. And we have uh, another one in, in China and in Japan, too. It is kind of a natural way of, particularly in this modern world of globalization, internalization of the curriculum. As a matter of fact, we have one of our students who graduated about three or four years with a, with a major in math and a minor in Spanish. He's working in the White House because since we are a Hispanic serving institution, just like so many other ones in the country, he works in that area, focusing on the, on the particular needs of these institutions and the kind of um, a work that he does has to do, not with math, but with his Spanish and English.